Hey everybody, Ann here, and who is that? Oh, it is Junior and Sonny, both of them. Yeah, Papa's out roaming. Uh, coffee, fire, and I'm feeling very cranky. I'm just going to warn you, this morning was drama-filled. Oh my gosh. Um, I woke up and it was 26 degrees inside the tiny house. Because I don't get up in the middle of the night and do the fire thing. Um, and outside, I don't even know how cold it got down to. But it's usually at least 10 degrees warmer in here during the winter than it is outside. So, I don't know, maybe 15, 16. Um, I don't even care. I just need to stop focusing on the temperature because, you know, it's <laughs> it's frightening. It's alarming. Anyhow, uh, this morning, I got outside, something had gotten into the mama's chicken yard, and I say mama, I should say Roxy, because she's like the queen bee, but, um, and it looked like it or they got in and couldn't find their way out, so they burst through some of the netting, um, you know, this the walls netting, so I had to try and go out and fix that this morning, and it was just so cold, um, I heated up water on the wood-burning stove for the chickens because everything is basically solid outside. It's just rock solid. So everybody's fed. Um, Patsy and Roxy both got out this morning, and I was able to get them back in. Thank goodness. Um, fixed a little bit of netting, but I'm going to have to get some more to reinforce um, netting or chicken wire, whatever you want to call it. Um... I honestly don't know what I'm going to get done today because it is not even going to get up to 32 degrees today. Um, the good thing is, is it's sunny. So the sun, it just makes you feel warmer and it makes you feel good inside. So my solar has been working great. Um, I've been able to keep things charged up and do stuff. But I am running out of wood. I'm running out of wood, and somebody made a point um, in the comments section. I even I haven't even gotten to the comments yet um, that their dad or their grandpa like to burn hardwood. Me too. Yeah, but I don't have a lot of hardwood, and that is correct. If you uh, build the uh, burn the softer wood, it clogs up the pipes much faster. So I've gone from having to go out every three or four days to every two days every one or two days and check the pipe and see if uh, you know it's clogged up but I think today's gonna be an indoor day um, I need to make me some comfort food so I'm going to do that uh, I tell you what it's it's harder this winter and I think it's because I have more chickens yeah um, I think it's because I have more chickens once I get those yards really, really well done, and they aren't, they're just awful yards right now, but I need more resources. So once I get the resources to really make those chicken yards nice, I won't have to worry so much about something coming in and going in and running around. Um, all chickens are fine, though. They're all doing great. Mama is healing up, um, and you saw yesterday that she laid me an egg. So that's good. Roxy hasn't laid yet in that coop, and I still don't know if Patsy was the one who laid that little tiny baby egg because all of the other chickens are basically mature and they are laying big eggs. So I don't know. But I'm just going to finish my coffee and just figure out what else I want to do today. Nah, I can't be indoors today because I'm looking at my wood supply and it's dwindling. I've got a couple days left and that's it. Um, I never imagined I'd use this much wood, but I am. And, and that's because a lot of it is just really soft. So I get to go chainsaw me some stuff. That's a good start. I had one more, oh, about a four foot log of cedar and another maybe three foot. I think that's uh, poplar. So I just cut it apart with that beautiful thing over there and it's working great. So I just split it up. With this beautiful thing right here, it's working great. So now it's off to the woods to find some, hopefully, more cedar. See that one that goes all that way? I'm pretty sure that's cedar. So, yeah, that's cedar. 
that is definitely a goal. So far so good. I decided to go kind of in the middle of it and I'm standing on the other side of it right now because that's downhill. That's down on the ground which is great. I think I'm going to start cutting up this part and I'm just going to get the, the little extra limbs off. And Because um, it's in a perfect position to do that. Um, I won't pinch my blade. So I don't know. I don't know if I'll get to the whole thing today but I need to get to at least some of it. Wow, look at that. Yeah, that's that's a decent sized log. Let's see here. Um, so yeah, I got this whole half cut up and it was great. I brought the extra battery with me and it's a good thing because I needed it. So I think this is gonna be all of the cedar for today. But I know I can come back and get the rest of it and that's gonna be easier because it's gonna be smaller. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to make two trips cause that's kind of full and I put the little kindling wood in there too. But I got all this left and I get to split it all up. Oh, this is gonna be fun. You know what, when I stand back and I look at that tree and that whole center part is gone and I know that I did that, that makes me feel pretty good. You know, I woke up whining and cranky, but I, I didn't stop. I just said, you know what, I'm gonna get out. I'm gonna do something. If I don't, it, I'm gonna be cold. I won't be able to heat the chicken's water up. So I gotta find me some wood and I found me some wood. I don't think I'm going to have the energy to do all that today because I still got one more load of logs to take up to the tiny house. Hey, Junior, buddy. And split up. And I think that that might be it for me for today. Well, it's time to get this part done. I wonder how long it's going to take me because I think I'm going to have to do more than quarter some of this because look at how big some of those pieces are. Well, I'll time it and let you know how long it took. Man, I really want to quit. I loaded up that wagon with that other stuff. I've got this much done. I got four more to go aside from this. But I want to quit. I want to quit so bad. But you know what? I need to get this done. I totally need to get this done. Because if I don't, it's going to take longer for it to dry out. And I'm not going to be able to stay warm. I'm not going to be able to keep my puppies warm. And... I'm not going to be able to give my chickens warm water in the morning. So I just got to keep going. I did it. I did it all. And this thing, I tell you what, I don't think I could do it. I don't think I could split all that wood with an axe. What are the puppies doing? <laughs> so I'm going to put as much of this inside the tiny house as I can. And the rest of it is getting stacked up in the shed. Are you being a bad boy, Junior? You got that look on your face. <laughs> Here comes Papa. There you go. There's your boys. Can you see me? <laughs> it's nighttime and I'm just now sitting down. The chickens are in their coops. They were very good today. I got a brown egg in Mama's pen. So that could be Roxy. It could be uh, Patsy. I don't know because um, Roxy lays really long eggs, but she hasn't laid in a few days, so her egg might be a little bit smaller. But this egg was pretty small, but it was also very long. Anyhow, I don't know who laid it. I got all of the cedar inside the tiny house. Um, I'd show you a picture right now, but it's kind of dark. Uh, and it was a lot of work. It took me a couple of hours to get that all split up, um, but it would have taken me so much longer if I was swinging an axe. So my back hurts. I've got my electrolyte solution, just like somebody suggested. And I'm just going to kick back and watch the fire and then make something. I don't know if it's going to be delicious or not, but it's going to fill my belly. And then uh, call it a night. So that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. You can now join me on Rumble, where I talk about current events, politics, and other thoughts on weighty subjects. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.